So the room thermostat is calling for heat, temperature set to 22 degrees, and the little triangle has appeared, and the relay's clicked, so it's trying to ignite the boiler right now. So at the boiler, we can see the controls are calling for both hot water and heating, both red lights are on. Uh, the boiler itself is not fired, so no activity there. So there's a problem somewhere else, and I know exactly where it is. So I'm up in the airing cupboard now. You can see there's no activity, so the pump's not running, <clears throat> and there's absolutely nothing going on. Now what have happened? What's happened in the past is I've had a bit of a sticky valve, and just by wobbling the head on the three-port valve normally brings things into life. Didn't know if it was the valve itself. Um, I took the head off, and it felt a bit quite stiff. I had to use pliers to turn it. Couldn't do it by fingers. Um, so I've squirted some WD-40 on it previously. And that seemed to loosen it up a bit, and it's actually been okay for the last few weeks. So this is the first time in a few weeks tonight where um, it's kind of got stuck. Now the um, the head you can see is kind of in mid position at the moment, although it's slightly slightly off the mid position. But I think that might be normal. I'm not sure. Uh, so what's probably going to happen? I'm going to jiggle the head, and it's probably all going to spring into life. And you'll hear the pump come on and the boiler will fire. Let's just see if it happens. So literally all I do is just... There we go. So you saw the levers moved over to heating now. And sure enough the boil, uh, the pump's come on. And I've just heard the boiler... I can hear the boiler downstairs firing now. And everything's all starting to click as warm water circulates. So the jury's out at the moment. I'm still not quite sure whether it's just the motor's getting a bit weak in the head or whether it's the actual valve itself which is getting too stiff. So I may actually try replacing the head initially um, and see if that fixes it. And then obviously if it doesn't, then I'm going to be looking at replacing the, uh, the whole valve. So if you've got any ideas or comments, feel free to leave me a comment on this video. Thank you.